hello 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 you're welcome to my youtube channel my name is Owe mike if you're new to this channel this is tiy hop tv with Owe mike where i share legitimate and fun ways to making money online i also share recipes and i share crafts please don't forget to give us a thumbs up if this video gives you any form of value and also subscribe to this channel your subscription will encourage me to bring more and more value adding and money making content like this your way and it will also help youtube to suggest these videos to other people that are looking for things like this also tap on that notification bell so that whenever i bring money making and valuable content like this your way you will be notified by youtube thank you let's dive into what we have for today hello welcome back so we're ready to start our step two the step two of our gele our auto gele so what i did is for this one i am using damas you can see i'm using damas it's almost like a showcase, like brocade. It's really strong. So I'm using the mask for the second step. The first step, I used normal Igbo um, head tie. Normal Igbo gele. So for this part, if you're using a showcase, you need a length of 26 inches. And then you cut out about 9 away of gele or 10 or 12 depending on how high you want your steps to be but since i am not using a showcase i'll just measure from my damask 26 inches my damask was straight so i had to cut it 26 inches and the width of this one is 39 inches the second one i had to do some joining to get something big the length is still 26 inches but this width is 24 inches. You can decide to cut it at one. So 24 plus um, 19. That's about um, that's about um, 33 inches. Sorry, that's about 43 inches. If I'm not mistaken, that's about 43 inches. So my length is 26 inches, while my width, the total width for the two, is about 43 inches. So we're going to start. So do this. You keep your needle, you thread your needle and keep it handy because you need it. So what I'll do is, the first thing I'll do is, I'm going to fold in this edge. It's optional though, but if you're using a showcase, you must fold it in. But this, my damask was cut with um, um, a zigzag scissors. So it has this that is good anyway. I still fold it in. So I'll fold it in. I'll fold it in. After folding, there are different ways to do this. The first one is you fold in and you keep keeping layers. The pleat does not have a there's no fixed size. So you choose what you know you can pleat evenly if you want very tiny pleat you know that you're starting with tiny pleat and you're ending with tiny pleat so everything is all about creativity so i'll keep putting pleat upon pleat on top pleat upon pleat on top that's the first step. then you can also do like this this is the top the right side of the ash okay you fold it in after folding you turn it over Sorry, you fold it in and then you fold it back. You turn it over and fold it. Like what we used to do with paper when we were play, when we used to play in primary school like children. Just turn it, fold, turn it back, fold, turn it back, fold. You keep doing like that. Fold like that. See, as I'm moving, I'm making my fold, you can see. This time around, I want something that will hip. I'm not necessarily making a, a pleat that will lie down. I'm making my pleat so that one will sit on top of the other. So I'm making my pleat so that one pleat will sit on top of the other. Just try and ensure you're making even pleat. Try and 
try and ensure your pleats are even. Like so. So I am done making my pleats for the first one. So the next thing I'll do is to hold it in place, I am going to sew it. I'm going to sew it. I'm going to arrange it very well and then sew. Arrange very well. And then stick my needle in. I'm just going to push my needle in. You can decide to fix fix your needle at this edge. You can decide to fix it at the center, wherever you like. So I'm using the center. I'm using the center. Please, when you're using, when you're doing this, use a matching thread. Use a matching thread, please. So. And I'm going to stick my needle back in. I want to ensure I'm holding it in place. Okay. The first one is done. So I'll do the same thing for this second part. You know, if you, if you cut everything together, you just know that you have to keep, um, you have to keep pleating until you pleat the whole length. You are the one to determine, I'm starting again, I fold this one in first, fold it in, and then I start my pleat. If it is that short, okay, you know that after folding in, you either gum or gum, gumming is better in this case. I am done pleating the second one, I'll just put it on top of the first one make sure it is well arranged that is what is important make sure it is well arranged especially the part that will be facing up that will be facing the front ensure it is well arranged and then i sew just to hold it together Okay, I am done tacking the two. So if it's your ashoke you're using, ashoke, you know that you keep adding, adding, adding to make it higher. But since I'm using the mask, I can't add more than this. I don't have more to add. So the next thing I'll do is I'll start arranging my pleats. I'll start arranging my pleats to the end. As I'm arranging, I'll be sticking a pin. I arrange and stick my office pin. I arrange and stick my office pin till all of them, all the pleats have been done to the end. Okay, as you can see, I am done making my pleats. I've arranged it to the end. You don't have to. Um, pin your own in two places like this. This I did it because my own um, my damask is too thick for one pin to just go in at once. So I had to divide it into two. You can pin your own together. So the next thing I'll do now at this point, if you have your mannequin, that's your baby doll head, the doll head, you can bring it. If not. You need to use your folded knee, you fold your knee to form the part that will sit on your head. You know, it's not going to be straight. So, where I joined, where I joined, where I tacked this first one was the center. Where I tacked was the center. If you do not tack at the center, you locate your center, fold it and mark it with um, a chalk. Then after marking, you now place it on your knee. We are going to do that right now for you to see. 
come back so i've placed the center here this is the center i've placed it here so the next thing i'll do is i'll fold i want to tag these two together if you add up to five you place one on top of the other like i'm doing now and then you tag you know when it is on your head it's not going to be straight it's going to be folded so we're trying to get that fold So, you ensure it is well arranged because whatever you sew now is what you get at the end. So, I ensure my own is well arranged. And then I'm going to tack. I'm going to tack it somewhere. I'm tacking at a point close to the fold close to where my knee is folded close to this fold under my knee that's why that's the point where i'm tacking then decide to tack one by one the damask is quite heavy i'm tacking at the center you can decide to tack very close to this edge depend it just it everything depends on you i'm tacking my own at the center Okay, I'm going to put the thread back. I'm going to send it back again. I'm going to tack to send it back. So you're going to tag it and then tie a knot to secure it. I'm going to tie my knot under. The knot I am tying will not show anywhere. It's going to be hidden. So I tie my knot. You can see. See what it looks like it's not straight it's folded because of where i kept it on my knee you can see it is folded it's not straight so i'll do the same on this side i'll do the same thing i'll arrange it very well ensure one sits on top of the other properly i place my center here and then at this fold where my knee is folded that is where i would do my make my stitch that's where i'll stitch you can see that if you had a material that was that was not like damask your your this pleat is supposed to come up it's supposed to be higher but everything depends on what you want depends on what you want so i'm going to tag like i did for the other side i'm going to do the same thing for this side i'm going to arrange to ensure everything is equal going to sew from under
so i'll sew and then tie my knot my the step b the step two is almost done this part is going to be my wings it's going to be the wings where i will tie so as you can see it's not straight you can see that it's not straight look at it it's not straight it's kind of coffee you can see it on its own so the next thing we're going to do is to attach the wings hey guys thank you so much for staying on this video till now i am super super appreciative i really appreciate you don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you find it valuable click on the notification bell so that whenever i bring money making and value adding content like this your way youtube will notify you also don't forget to subscribe to this channel your subscription will encourage me to bring more and more of this kind of content your way thank you so much remember this is it so to create a cover for this wings to create the wings so that we can tie at the back what i do i did is i cut my material about 13 and a half inches you can use 14 inches 13 and a half inches by 8 inches you can use 14 i have limited material so i divide it into two then the next thing i'll do is <coughs> i'm going to fold this material i'm going to fold the edge and I'm going to gum it. I'll fold this edge and gum. Fold this other edge and gum. Sorry, can't see. So this is my material. I'm going to fold this the width part. I'll fold it and gum. I'll fold this other part and gum. After that, I'm going to place it about three inches. I'm going to place it about three. I'm going to mark three inches from where I sewed this place. This part where I sewed when I placed on my knee, where I placed on my knee and sewed. I'm going to here. At this point, I'm going to measure from this thread where I tacked. I'm going to measure three inches down and then place my wings where i will tie i'll place it and then we'll go on so i am done gumming i'm done gumming um my the wrap so i'll measure my three inches from where i made my stitch three inches A lot of people will tell you that when you're making when you're making this step two, you should measure a 18, a 18 and a half, keep adding two two inches on each of the away of the um ashoke. If you do that, you you only waste your material. You can see what I used here is 26 and it's still left. So imagine that somebody tells you to use 30, 30 this, that you'll be wasting your material. Even with even with the 26 I used. I'm still going to cut off this uh, this uh, quantity of material. So you can even use 24 as the length of this your step B. It will still come out the same. So now I'm going to place this one here. I'm going to wrap it around. This is. And I'm going. I'm going. You fold in to ensure that the rough edges are inside. So you fold. This is what I'm doing. I cover it. Then I fold in this rough part. And I fold in this other end. And then place on top. Now I'm going to sew. 
white tip with me. Just try. I'll be taking it one by one till I take and I can pick everything. So I'll keep sewing it over and over again until I'm sure that it is firm enough. You don't want your you don't want the cover to pull off when you're trying to tie it. Be careful with the needle. Quite heavy. So I've sewn it like four times. That should be firm enough. So I now try to make a knot. After that, I am going to cut off the excess. That's why I said there's really no need to make uh, to make to cut this uh, material to be as long as 30 inches, 30. We're just wasting it because at the end you cut it off. So if even if it's 24, it's okay. I use 25 and I'm still cutting off some part. So you can see, cut off the excess. And now I'm going to use gum. You can okay. Let me stitch it with needle. You can use gum now to finish this edge. But if, if you're using a shoke, certainly, certainly you need to stitch. You use your thread and needle to tag it and close up. Let me just do it in my thread and needle. So you just tack. Like that. All we want to do is close up that th this part. If you are using um this, if you are using this um this damask to practice yours, you can decide to even use machine to sew up this part. So I'm going to finish that up later. So the next thing I'll do now is I'll do the second part. The same thing that I've done here. I'll do it for the, the second part. Okay, let me just make it. You cover, you stitch to hold it very well. And then you cut off the excess. And then you stitch to close the cover. Stitch the cover to close. Welcome back to eDesign and Craft Tutorials. We are still making an auto galley, cap style of auto galley. We're making the cap style. That's the close to auto galley. So, the part that will be tied is ready. So, at this point, you can decide to attach it but i do not want to attach in this video i don't want to attach my this wrap to the cap because i would like to wear this cap sometime just like this so if you want to attach it what you do is you locate the center of this cap locate the center and then and then you can either wear it on your head to mark the point or you can just guess like here i'll take if i am to attach this i'll just check somewhere here somewhere here that's about um it's 
about four inches about four inches i also look at the center of this which is where i stitched and i will place this at that my four inches point i'll place it at that my four inches point and i will tap after that i'll bring this one a little bit out towards the ear and i'll tap i'll do the same for this and i'll tap but it's best done on your uh, mannequin on your doll head you place this one on your doll head and then you position the wrap and you do it but in this video i do not want to attach my wrap to the cup i want to wear it separately so that's the end of the video thanks for watching remember this thank you so much for watching this video to the end we really appreciate you please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and also subscribe to this channel to encourage me bring more and more value adding and money making content like this your way also tap on that notification button so that whenever i bring content like this you'll be notified by youtube thank you bye